All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is actually my second attempt at this video. Uh, for some reason, the audio has been cutting in and out for my phone. I have an iPhone XR. So if anybody has any troubleshooting help for that, please let me know. My voice would be super quiet and all of a sudden jump really loud. I don't know what's going on. It must be an update issue or a setting. But anyway, what I'm here to do today is showcase that even though I'm one of the world's fastest drummers, and I will boldly state that, that I am also capable of being a groove drummer and one of the world's slowest drummers. So what I have cooking here beside me is 30 beats per minute. So earlier in a thread I mentioned to somebody that I you know, set my world record for multi-bounce last year and one of my buddies was like, yeah, but can you play slow? And I accept that challenge, no problem. So I wanna, I wanna not only show that yes, I can do it and yes, it's capable, but teach you guys how I do it and you know maybe it works for you maybe you'll have another method that you can share with me um, you know one of the biggest faults I think that happens is as a teacher that there people aren't willing to give it's like I'm the giver right I'm the teacher well teachers love to learn so if there's any insights and tips and constructive criticisms right I'm all for constructive criticisms if you're a musician and you can't take constructive criticism maybe music's not for you okay so <laughs> Long story short, I just want to demo what 30 BPM is, what it sounds like, and how to manipulate it and use it. So, can he groove? Can he play slow? Well, let's, let's find out. So this is 30 beats per minute that you're hearing, okay? And I'm gonna tap it, I'm gonna clap it along with it. So are you ready? Okay. All right, so there it is, 30 beats per minute. So how am I doing it? Well, I will make this statement as well. I will never say it is harder physically to play slow. It is not. It is way more demanding physically to play fast. It's also a stigma like when you become a fast dude, high tempo, all my fast friends out there will know, when you spend a lifetime of fast, playing slow is hard. It's almost like hell because you're not built for that. You are very conditioned for the speed. It's gotta be a lot easier for a person who has felt relaxed and played relaxed to play relaxed. If that's been your whole life, just steely dan licks and you know, cool funky grooves, you know, like just chilling along with slow swanky blues then physically it's probably a lot easier because you're not you're not always caught in the torment of more or let's say the conditioning of more but it's the opposite too that i will say playing fast is not more mentally demanding playing slow is mentally demanding very and if you're someone who's used to playing slow well you're going to find out real quick pun intended how hard it is to play fast so both things have to be conditioned. So people who play really fast, most of the time their brain is not where the slow guys are. But those slow guys are hardly ever where those fast guys are physically. So this is the dichotomy you got. And if you want to be a hybrid drummer like I try to be, you should be good on both ends. So one of the secrets that I have for playing slow is like when somebody... Uh, has a thought so let's say I'm talking to somebody and I'm like chatting away and I think this person's my friend and in their mind they're like Fuck, I hate this guy like I just don't I don't like this guy but they're not saying it they're like oh yeah no, for sure oh I wish you the best buddy not all friends are friendly and not all friendlies are friends so it's a thought they're thinking something but they're not saying it right just because I don't say it doesn't mean I'm not thinking it and that's probably most of the internet when you're hovering over the keyboard and just ah, I'm not gonna say it and you keep moving okay so with a metronome at 30, like this, um, you want to glue it together as best you can. So for me, I like quarter note pulses. I don't really go like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E. I don't do that. So I'll show you. Uh, here it comes. So one and two and three and four. 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 Or if you want to take it to just quarter note seven, you could go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one. So it just depends how you want to glue that together. But when it comes to these longer challenge 
hits, you know what I mean? Like, how can you do one BPM? Well, yeah, I just got to figure out how I'm going to count it, how I'm going to feel it. And in the future, if someone calls on you like, hey, I want to jam a solo tonight at 30. Well, I got you, man, because I'm going to go one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rather than just try to hold my breath and right? I'm not, I'm not going to do that. It's, it's, it's why certain music is like uh, the porridge story. Too cold, which is too slow. It doesn't feel good. And then there's just right zone. You know, you got about 40, 50 BPM of just right, maybe for the singers, maybe for the bass player. But then after that, it's too hot. It's way too fast. You don't want to play China Grove at 210. You know what I mean? It's just not going to feel. So this is this is my statement. This is my video. Uh, you know, I had some buddies that, you know, called me out, you know, in a joking manner. It's always a joke. You know, if you're the world's fastest, can you play slow? Well, I would love to challenge the world's slowest to play fast. It's a, it's a two-way street. So if you're not willing to take that pace car and make it an F1, or you're not willing to take that F1 and turn it into a pace car, I think you're missing out on some of the experience. Some people play their whole life in that one zone. You know, I'm the best blues player. That's what I play. I will play that to the day I die. That's great. But I would like to be able to play in blues and feel good and strong and everybody else feels good with me. And I'd also like to be able to play crazy balls to the wall metal and everybody feels good and happy with me. And... Yeah, I'm just, I'm a musical hoarder. I want it all, and I want to be able to say I'm pretty decent at it all. Uh, jack of all, master of none. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.